Welcome back to Old Man Dax. We're here on the long-term survival realm, uh, season two. We decided that uh, with 1.2, we were going to start fresh. So uh, I've been on the realm for, oh, probably a little over a week now. And uh, so we're going with, uh, at the end of the last season, I was going to do a Western theme uh, at my second base. And also, if you're following over in the modded uh, Let's Play series, I also got a Western theme going over there. And we, our spawn was at a Badland, so we're going to do a Western theme here. So let's start with uh, my shop. So this season, I decided that uh, we got a few more new members, so we're going to make sure that everybody gets a, a shop up first before we... Because last season... I had quite a few things for sale. So this season we're just going to pick one or two things. So I decided I was going to be the blacksmith. So i got a good old power hammer going over here. I'm going to try and automate it a little more so that when you're standing on it, it'll keep going. But right now it's just a single step. And we got a little work area here. I still got to put in the, the forge. And we come inside. Clean up my mess here. All right, so we got uh, some basic tools. So this is just going to be things that have just one or two enchantments on it, ones that are okay. They're going to be two diamonds each. And then we got the average tools. It's going to be two to three um, enchantments, depending on what they are. They're going to be five diamonds. Then we got the power tools. I don't have any yet, but they're going to be the tools that are fully, fully enchanted. And we got a little sales area here. So we got a full netherite sword and a full netherite pickaxe and I'll switch them up from time to time and up here we got some display armors and there we got the office just for me just for extra supplies and a little sale area over here and we got some basic armor again same thing one to two enchantments just on basic gear and they're cheap they're only five diamonds each and then we got the average ones there like I said that will be between two to three enchantments on those depending on what they are and there'll be nine diamonds each and then we're gonna do a little booth maybe I'll get rid of this sales area and just leave the two sales and we're gonna have a, like a custom order booth that's what I'm gonna set up next and then that way people can come here and they can write down their order and just leave it here and I will come pick it up and go make it and bring it back. And over here I believe this is Terry's shop. Um, he doesn't have a sign on it. I don't think I got a sign on mine either. I th actually, I think I do. Yeah, see, Dax Blacksmith shop and we're open. So hopefully, um, if this is Terry, I do believe because I bought rockets off him. And last season he had rockets and again, oh, he's already got it filled back up. Make a sign there. So yeah, so we're gonna keep the uh, buildings nice and close. Same as the old west. You get like one or two blocks in between. Then we're gonna do a row. Uh, my next build that I'm planning on doing in town, I'm probably at the end down over there. I'm gonna do a saloon with some games and that in it. Oh hey, spider. And we got a couple old broken down carts over here. We got spots die wagon. Selling some dies for some diamonds. And so that's pretty much it for spawn. Like I said, we just a weekend. We're just getting started. So make sure you uh, subscribe so you can keep uh, following along with what we got here. The portal was down there. We're having a little glitch with the portal that's doing a couple things of damage. We're trying to figure that out. But anyway, the portal was down there. So I'll probably get some, uh, probably fence that off and maybe put some sheep or some cows or something down there. All right, so let's uh, head off to the base. I'll give you a little tour of what I got done so far and uh, what I got planned on coming up. And if you have any uh, any thoughts on any of the stuff that I'm doing or you want to see me do something kind of different, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try and accommodate. So anyway, our tunnel's down this way, I think. It's only Spot and I that went this way. Everybody else went that way. So we're going to do a lot more visiting to other people's bases this season. So keep your eye open for that. 
and hopefully we can get some uh, some of the new members not so shy and we'll get people on uh, on the chat here and get a little more interaction going so so far um, actually we've got a lot done um, I've already gone to the end I got my wings uh, just one set so far I gotta go another trip and get a little bit more but uh, I was pretty much wanting to get all the basics done out of the way because I've done so many videos of the basics um, so the nether uh, fortress that I found is that way we'll be doing a blaze farm over there so stick around for that one and in this season, as every other season I do, I try and improve my gold farm. So this season, uh, last season we had the quad gold farm. This season we're going to do a triple quad and see if, uh, see if it'll keep up. It seemed to keep up with the quad. We just had a little bit of a problem with storage. So uh, we're going to fix that this season. And here's Spot's uh, base, and then mine's down this way. And I'll just show you here a little quick peek out here. Uh, while we were exploring there, that we actually were right beside a bastion, and that's where I found the uh, first bastion and found netherite upgrades right off the bat. And then we got some warped over there. tunnel right quick um, still gotta come up with a design idea for my nether tunnel and the last one I used the uh, black and red terracotta um, it is going to be basically the same kind of idea because I'm going with a really dark theme this season and uh, you'll see why here in a second Let's get down here. I gotta redo this. I was trying to do a spiral all the way down. I misstepped once and I went the other way. So, gotta fix that up. Alright, so here's our portal. Um, there's a nether mine down that way. Also, the uh, way to my stronghold is down that way, too. And this is why we're going with a dark theme this season. So, uh, as you can see, we've taken over an ancient city. Um, I'm going to remodel it and restore it pretty much to its um, beginnings, I guess. And we're going to put the old man Dax uh, twist on it here. So. I'm trying to come up with a design five wide for the floor right here, but um, with the terracotta, but I couldn't get one that I liked. So, still thinking about that. But anyways, we're going to be doing uh, the warp stem logs and planks for all these runways and stuff. And we're going to be doing a gold floor. So that's why we're going to be doing a super duper gold farm so we get lots and lots of gold. So I'll give you the little tour um, over here in this corner is the exit. So I got some stairs going up there and out and I'll show you that next episode. Um, up there and out is where I'm going to actually build a castle up top. Um, actually we can go there. We'll go there after. We'll do it right quick. All right, so there's the exit, and so when you come in, I got a couple of little tree farms here going. We're eventually going to automate things, but this is just the get-go. So I think we'll go up this side, and then we'll come down the other side and uh, explain everything that we have planned and what we've got done. Alright, so up on this side, this is going to be our little crop farms. 
So we got two there that we haven't got planted yet, but over on this side we got some carrots and potatoes and we got some nether wart. Uh, like I said, we got to get all this all cleaned up, all the blocks brought back to original. So we're looking at a lot, a lot of work. So this is pretty much going to be like our little farmer side. We got all these pillars that we're going to have to fix up and get back to original. And then we got some monuments over here. We got a big house here. Either this one or. Oh, here's the warped uh, platforms. So either that one there or I got another one over here. We're going to make into a bee farm. All right, up here we got a little platform. We're going to put a farm right there. We got a little micro farm. This here, I'm actually, it was just temporary. We're going to move that over there all right and up here we got nothing up here like i said it took me like six hours i think it was something like that to go and clear out all of the sensors and all the shriekers and it was it was a battle i'm not sure if i saved any of the footage if i did i'll i'll insert it here and if i don't then we'll just keep talking um So yeah, like I said, all this all has to be cleaned up, make look back to new. And here we got our little breeder breeder hut with our beginning jobs. And then if we travel over here, we got a little sugarcane thing. I gotta get these all automated, so like that little platform over there, I'll probably do sugarcane on one side, bamboo on the other, just an automated one. I have the automatic one over there. There's, oh, we might as well go up. It's all at the same time. So we uh, got a water elevator. So I learned uh, quite a bit about ancient cities while doing this. I looked up some stuff, watched some videos and everything. And uh, so I went to go make the gold farm. I'm not sure if you've seen the hallway there that I walked past the gold farm, but it wasn't working. And then I looked it up and I guess mobs don't spawn in the ancient city. So, anyway, I come up here, I built a little temporary little gold farm up here. Uh, just for now, we are actually are going to move it um, and improve it. That's a single. I plan on doing 12. So, and then we got a drop down. Up to the bottom. Alright, so here we are at the front. This is where I originally came in and stored all my stuff. So down here, um, if you watched last season, you saw that I did a piston bolt. Um, this season, I'm not doing a piston bolt. I'm going to do a ice highway just from my base to, to town. If anybody wants to connect to it, they're more than welcome. But I plan on just connecting mine to town. Um, just to save on some rockets and whatnot. All right, so we go over this way. I did save one shrieker and it's right inside there so i do plan on trying to make a warden farm i might have to tear down what's left of this one i'm gonna have to uh i'm gonna go on another private uh my private creative world that i have and i'm gonna look at different ancient cities and see if i can find the couple of these that are a lot better in better shape and put them back together all right, then we come over here, and I got the kelp farm. So this is a six, an eight, and a ten. I think it's ten, ten or eleven. Anyway, it spits out a lot of, of uh, bone meal to make the automated bamboo and sugar cane. And like I said, the micro farm over there, I will probably uh, bring it over and set it right here, just so it's right by the uh, bone meal. Alright, and then I do believe you've seen, so yeah, there was this one here, which is right beside I AFK here a lot, getting the bone meal for all that. So I'm probably going to do this one as the bee farm. 
it is really close to this here, but oh well. So yeah, we're probably going to modify this one for a bee farm. And then you've seen the center, so we're going to be doing these pillars. And like I said, I haven't decided on the floor yet. And if you haven't seen an ancient city before, underneath the portal, which is right up there, there's a little room down here that has all kinds of redstone, so we cleared that out. This is going to be our massive storage room for all of our stuff. And what else did we get? Um, so the villager breeder... Oh, there was... Uh, I'll run back up there and show you. There's actually one at each end, which was kind of cool. And if we look up, I'm not sure if you can see it from here. Yeah, right up there, we got a uh, abandoned mine shaft right up there. So I'm going to go up there soon, do some exploring, see if uh, we can find us a spider spawner. Should be cool. here and this is why I left the stairs and I'll probably decorate a little bit better but as soon as we come in right up here we had a geode so we got an ancient city we got a geode and there's actually one right at the other end too so we got two geodes right close and an abandoned mine shaft so that's all pretty cool um, so back to my thing about the gold farm right over here um, where is it? Down here. No, other side. I thought it was this side. Oh, it was up here. Sorry. I'm still getting used to this place too. It's uh, the first couple of days was really bad. These things are actually a lot bigger than I th what I thought. All right, so right up here, so right there you can see that uh, pillar coming down. That was the gold farm. So it was just right above it up there. So I thought that they would spawn in, but they don't. And then uh, I was making a raid farm, which I'm, I'll go show you the raid farm here after. Um, and I, I needed a few more materials and I came back and I had the bad omen and the pillagers actually spawn down here so gold farm won't work but a pillager raid will work just in case uh, anybody was wondering alright down this side we just got a long uh, hallway that way and this way and right in here, we already got our first beacon up and running. I did a wither fight. I'm not sure if I saved any of the footage from the wither fight. But uh, we'll be using withers to clear out our tunnel going um, to town. And right here is where we are going to, it goes all the way up to Y level zero, so we're going up 50 layers. And this is where the giant gold farm is going to go. And I do believe... So that was the that one, and I think over here at this end, I gotta be careful because there's still lava on the floor here. Um, I do believe at this end over here, I was gonna clear up this corner a little bit more, and I think the tree farm is gonna go right there, or right here, because I gotta block this up. You can see. I still hear some more sensors. I think they're up there. I got a few more to break anyway. So anyway, we got to put a wall up here so mobs can't get in. 
and maybe we'll put the tree farm right here. Still got a bunch of the floor to cover in. Alright, a little bit of the floor here. This was all shulk. I've taken it all out. I needed some experience, so I just took the experience because I knew I was putting gold in there. And if we look up here, I got my normal first day. Um, actually, I don't think it was the first day this time. I think it took me a little while. I, the villager, I think they were like 1,300 blocks away. I got a couple of pictures there. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in the video or not, but like I said, they were like 1,300 blocks away, so it took me a while to get the villagers over here. But uh, really, Iron Golems, you're not going to spawn while I'm standing here. We just heard one dying down there, so. Um, anyway, here's the spawning platform for the Iron Golems. And we'll go down here, I'll show you. This season I went with uh, more, because where I'm going to be the blacksmith, I wanted all the enchantments, so I went with 25 um, librarians. And we went just with five toolsmiths, five armor smiths, and five weaponsmiths. The rest were all uh, librarians. I left a couple out to roam around just in case something happened and I had to rebreed. But eventually I'll probably stick them in the back in there too. I'm um, not sure if I'm going to zombify. I was going to. But now that I have an up and running raid farm, I'll probably be using the books from the raid farm first. And then I'll just buy whatever ones that I need to touch up to get the gear custom orders. Oh, and we got a little window down here. Now you get there, now you can hear one. There he is. And all the loot comes down here. So as you can see, the iron farm is working pretty good. I should see if Spot wants to buy all them flowers. He's got the dye shop, so be an awful lot of red dye. All right, so that's that for the town. Like I said, I'll keep you posted and updated on the town as we get going. And was there any other farms that I was going to put in here? I think that was it. Crop farms, iron farm, wood. Yep. Oh, the super smelter was going to be over there. So the tree farm and the super smelter were going to be over in that corner. All right. And we got ourselves a little dog the other day. We got to get one more so we can breed up a couple. And we got to finish these stairs. And this season, I'm going to try and, uh, my first attempt, I'm going to try and make a charged creeper uh, farm. So that'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. I need, uh, I want to do the warden banner as my banner for my little base. So from here... Right at the top of up here, I'm going to flatten it out, and this is where the castle is going to be. So I'm going to have to have lots of lights and stuff on the top of it to keep the snow off of it, but that's all right. And then I want to build a big, long bridge from here all the way over to the raid farm so I don't have to keep running across the ground. And it's probably, oh about 300 blocks away. Uh, somebody whispered something here. Uh, oops. Message on Discord. Alright, I'll go check that out in a minute. Once I get out of the shooting range here. So like I said, this is just going to be a little short video, just an introduction to the realm. And I'm going to be working on getting all the materials I need for the gold farm and the blaze farm. And we'll probably just do the same thing. I'll play through the week and I'll do a little updated video of what we got done on the realm. And like I said, we're going to go visit the other uh, realm members whenever they're on and take a look at their bases.
All right, so here's the raid firm. I'm not sure whose raid firm this was. I just looked it up on YouTube. So just look up raid firms for Bedrock on Oop. Just fill up my inventory. So I still got to work on the item sorter for this and uh, gold firm. It'll be the same as last season's. But I'll take you through and we'll do a little video. So this here's the new Trident Killer. Um, the uses Impaling 5. That's pretty sweet. This one's a lot more... I found this one here a lot easier to make compared to uh, the one we made in last season. It's a lot more compact. And there's the kill chamber. And I said Impaling 5 Trident. And it only takes two pistons instead of the four and the observers and everything. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And I don't know why I did that. I forgot that I already have my wings. I just went and got them today. So um, I need to walk anymore. Oh, so much better. flying back home I will sign off and uh, appreciate you all for watching um, like subscribe share all that good stuff especially subscribe I'm uh, almost up to a hundred and uh, I appreciate all you guys and like I said if there's something you'd like to see make sure you leave a comment because uh, it really helps out the algorithm to get me uh, spotted by other people and uh, we'll see what we can do about making some good content for you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.